So, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to read you a songbook called Pigs Might Fly. Written by a Red House Children's Book Award. Younger Children winner in 2006. The, this is the Father Adventures of the Three Little Pigs. So you can see Pigs Might Fly. The Father Adventures of the Three Little Pigs. Jonathan, Emmett, and Steve Cox. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. But I'm sure you know the story already. This is the story of what happened next. So, twice upon a time, there were three not so little pigs. Their names were Woody, Waldo, and Roru. This is Waldo. Waldo was not the cleverest of pigs, and he never learned by his mistakes. After his straw house, he had tried to build a straw television and even a straw bicycle. This is Woody. Woody was cleverer than Waldo, but he wasn't very careful. So while the things that Woody built often looked impressive, they didn't last for very long. This and this is Waldo. Wellwu was the smart pig of the litter. When Wellwu built something, he always went the whole hog and built it properly. Oh yes, and this is the big bad wolf, whose real name was Algernon. So you can see why he never took anybody. The wolf was still sore about what had happened the first time he climbed down the tree pig's chimney. In fact, his bottle was so badly scared he still couldn't sit down properly. One day, Roru saw this advert in his newspaper advertisement. Patron's perfect pie is proud to announce the pie in the sky. Aries, the winner will receive a magnificent trophy and all the pies they can eat. Yum yum. Mmm, it has to be Patterson's. That sounds like a prize worth winning, thought Roru, licking his lips. When Waldo and Woody heard about the race, they were just as keen to enter. And so, each pig set about building an aeroplane. Waldo thought that he should stick to what he knew best. So, he built his paint out of, can you guess? So, just tell me. Yes, straw. Woody usually drew things together from whatever was lying around. So, he built his paint out of, can you guess? Yes, sticks. And Robo, well, at first Robo didn't build anything. He just drew lots of pictures. Wilbur was still drawing when Waldo and Woody had finished building their planes. I want to make sure that everything works properly, he explained. When Wilbur finally started, he built his plane out of, can you guess? What did Wilbur build his plane out of? So if you choose bricks, let, let's tell you the answer. No, not bricks. Whoever heard of an elephant made out of bricks, he built it out of metal, of course. And this time, the big bad wolf has been spying on the pigs. At last, he grinned. My chance for revenge. I'll stop those pigs from hugging all the glory, he thought. I'll win the air race. Then I'll wolf down those pies and have those three pokers for pudding. On the day of the race, all the aeroplanes were lined up and ready to go. The big bad wolf had brought along his own plane and was wearing a sheepskin. 
flying dragon in head as a disguise. A horn sounded and the race began. While those aeroplanes wobbled down the runaway, would these aeroplanes rest up down the runaway? But Robo's aeroplane didn't move at all. Wobble, wobble, wobble. So you can see here, he sneaked around the back of Robo's jet and drained out all the fuel. So that's why Robo's aeroplane punch me. So let's see these noises. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Well, those straw aeroplane had only made it halfway down the runaway when a wolf came speeding up behind me. Let me win, little pig. Let me win, he shouted. Not by the hair on my chin, 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 caught Weldo. Then I'll zoom and I'll zoom and I'll smash your plane in, cried the wolf. And he drove his jet, whoosh, but through the middle of Weldo's aeroplane and took off into the sky. Woody's aeroplane had started well, but it began to fall apart in the air. The wolf came whizzing down. Let me win, little pig. Let me win, he shouted. Not by the hair on my chin, 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 called Woody. Then I'll vroom and I'll zoom and I'll smash your plane in, cried the wolf. And he drove his head crash right through the, the middle of Woody's aeroplane and smashed it to pieces. The wolf was now so sure he was going to ruin this race. Then he decided to show off a bit. Look at me, look at me, he cried. And he looked the look and he just finished his daring display when Wee Who should come flying past but the three little pigs? Wobu had refused his jet and picked up the others. Now they were ahead of the wolf. The wolf was furious. Let me win, little pigs. Let me win, shouted the wolf. Not by the hair on our chain chin chins, cried all the pigs. Then I'll zoom and I'll zoom and I'll smash your plane in, cried the wolf. But try as he might, the wolf could not bring down Robo's aeroplane. Right, thought the wolf. If that plane is going to win, then I'm going to be the one flying it. So he jumped out of his plane and landed behind a huge barrel at the back of Robo's jet. What is the thing anyway, he wondered. It looked like a big metal chimney, he thought, sticking his head inside. Weldo and Woody had also noticed a huge metal barrel. What is that thing anyway, asked Weldo. It's a rocket booster, explained Weldo. What does it do? Asked Woody. This, said Weldo, pushing a big red button. A huge thing shot out of the rocket booster and was blasted backwards and the jet whooshed forward over the finishing line. We did it, cheered the pigs. We won. What happened to that other pirate? Right, asked Waldo. I bet he didn't want to hang around, said Woody. Yes, green Robo. I expect he's a sore loser, a very sore loser indeed. The end. I hope you like this story. Make sure to like and subscribe so I can make you a soup